does have a history of launching Slipper's missions. We've done uh, four to date, starting back in 2011. The work really starts about you know, two or sometimes even more years before launch, where we get a set of requirements from the, the payload customer. And then from there, it's, a, it's an ongoing process to, to work with both the payload manufacturer as well as the, the government teams to kind of make sure all of the requirements are defined for all those interfaces between you know, our rocket and, and the payload. What's unique about Sibbers 5 is that Lockheed Martin redesigned the uh, satellite. This is the inaugural military program to use uh, Lockheed Martin's A-21 combat bus. Now instead of having a bus built around our sensors, we have a, a common bus that you can now adapt to different sensors. And so it's going to be able to be produced a lot quicker. Uh, Cost-wise, you're going to get this more production assembly line flow and get capability out to the warfighters a lot quicker. Sivir's Geo5 is a perfect example to highlight the uh, partnerships and teamwork that exists in uh, national defense. So uh, take the MMO's payload that's on this rocket. That's uh, been a huge effort with the Mission Manifest Office and the Air Force Academy. And then the uh, anchor vehicle, the Sivir's program, has been a great uh, teamwork effort with Lockheed Martin, their contractor. And of course you have the United Launch Alliance and the Launch Enterprise and Aerospace ensuring that this whole process could be as, as successful as possible.